first interaction with clay when I was young is because my mother was involved in a small town where I'm from, from the north of Quebec, uh, to create the access of a community kill. Now, suddenly, everybody in town were doing ceramic. So that was my introduction to clay. Play for months. I've been out of play for months because of COVID. Well, I will do a female figure. Okay, now I can work. is healthy, not just for me. You know, with time, when you look at clay, clay is really the bassin of humanity. The best study we're doing in anthropology is finding clay around the world that give us an idea of what was the life of people. When they did uh, platters just to cook and to feed themselves, and right away they started to illustrate their life. You know, painting in caves. But a lot of the painting with caves at the beginning were done with clay. For photography, when you want to illustrate, you know, leaders of religious, politician, religious, wealthy people, people who were getting sculpture made out of them to immortalize them. Though, so historically, that's how we did classical sculpture, was to immortalize, you know, people. Working from a block like this gave me the freedom to create because I don't have to, sometimes everything is planned and sketched and drawn before I work. But when I do the anatomy now, it's much more fluid. Even if I still do the body to the perfection of the anatomy, it's in fact flowing. I have students coming from different countries to take workshop with me for a week at a time. And each time it's the meeting of a new culture, a new exchange. So that's one part for me also which is very precious, doing like that program like Artists in Residence. Because it's giving me that opportunity to connect deeply with people. It's totally done then I do the first layer of polishing then I retake the small knife and then I recut all the detail and then I polish again wow. usually it's methodic it's five session now five block it's done when I teach a group it's the same thing it's five block now they learn to do ABC I show them exactly what I do now, that's fun <laughs> well, that's really fun
fun little dogs. At the base, I connected with a fellow called Lyle Schuch, a painter that I knew from the past. And he's making those little drawings here and there, and sketching in his painting. And I suggested to him that we could bring to light his work and at the same time, we could push it to be, create something in 3D. So it evolved from his painting and it become those guys, which now I call, which is fun, I like it, name your dog, because I want people to have an interaction with the work. Each one of them is cut from a block. So I start by cutting the legs, pull them aside, let it dry for a bit. And when it's ready, I put pin through and then turn it over and then cut from a block. Those little body. Though the idea is it's fun to do curves and play. When I teach in, uh, in my studio in Nanaimo, it's always fun to welcome uh, artists and residents. People come with different needs. Some people want to learn more about the clay. Some people want to more understand a process of creation or even to commercialize an object for some people of different industry. Look, I am always excited when I welcome individual or group uh, that I teach the anatomy how to rhythm properly the female male torso from the classic era to a modernism, surrealism and so on.